That is a great fish. I was giving Taylor crap. Nobody ever catches fish on Rapalas. Look at that fish. That's a stud. On a stinking Rapala. I would have ate anything we ate for lunch today. First fish of the trip for Taylor. <laughs> Go home. I use that same thing pretty much. Oh my, gone. <laughs> I'm not letting that fish go. That is oh a my gosh, freaking dude. toad. Oh Taylor, are you kidding me? Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> How big is that fish? First one, man. 25, like freaking five pounder, dude. Get a picture of that Rapala in it now. No, no. Yeah, we could. I think we got enough tin foil to eat that one. Maybe. <laughs> Twenty-six, man. Ready? Yeah. He says it's a good one, everyone. Got a trailer? What the heck? Butter. Look at him. Been too big. See, look, there's Jaws again. See him? Right where my thing landed. That's a gorgeous fish. You're all about quality. Eat him. Yeah, probably 25, 29 yeah, inches. At least, mm -hmm. probably 30 pounds. Yes. We're making waves today. I've been trying the dry fly in the bubble because they're rising. And then these guys start catching them on jigs and I'm just like, what even am I doing? There's like a boil going on over there right now. For those of you unfamiliar with fishing terms, a boil is where um, the water gets a little bit warmer in one spot because of volcanic activity. Heats it right up and the fish, they don't know how to get out. It's like the frog in the boiling pot of water. It kind of gets warm slowly and they kind of cook. So try to go over there and save as many as we can. Eh, it's like a 16 incher. Ah, there he came off, perfect. It's cold. Wind's blowing hard. You got one? The <laughs> Taylor's killing it. Like, we just sat here and slammed them for the last probably hour. As in, I say we because I like to take the success of the group as my own success. I had six fish, fish that I didn't get to the shore. Lose them right there. And these guys sat here and caught them and caught them and caught them. Um, so. Jason got cold and went back to start a start a fire, um, and I 
feels like right now a pretty good idea to go back to the fire because my hands are frozen. Guys, look at this place. Gorgeous. This is one of the bigger lakes up here. And uh, we had a really good day between everybody. We were probably 30 plus fish on the day. And one giant that you guys saw a little while ago. So yeah, it's Tuesday. And this is what we're doing on Tuesday. Happy, lucky. So this is how you do open fire cooking. These are steaks that we cut out of one of the fish that we caught today before we released him. Like, uh, get a really nice meaty back strap on some of these fish. Just kidding, they're pork chops that we brought in. We're doing pork chops two ways, because we're, we're chefs. We got them over there on the, on the MSR stove with a little bit of oil. And these ones we just threw on this little grill that we found leaned up against a tree right there. And uh, Taylor's got a fish going here too. Fish two ways, because once again, we're chefs. This one he just threw on the grill right next to the fire, it opened right up. And then another one wrapped in foil down there in the bottom, but we got a good fire tonight. The wind's starting to kick up like it did last night, but we're at least gonna be eating good. It is hot after a second. I'm gonna get better prepared. Woo. There's a battery. So that's part of the flavoring process is make sure and throw a few AA batteries in the fire. Okay. Now how was it sitting like that? Um, I think it was resting on that rock. Oh yeah. Ooh, those look like something you'd get at a restaurant. Look at these bad boys. It's like a nice restaurant pork. So here's a fun fact. Trichinosis was eliminated in the pork supply, so you can now eat medium rare pork. The more you know. So the pork chops turned out to be on the money. The fish over here, I feel like, things going okay? It's weird, man, it's like it's still hot. It's just like it was a minute ago. Now you're talking. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of pulls out. Yeah, I get it. Can't I understand work. the theory. It didn't work that great, but. And you still got the big mamma jamma and the foil down there. Mm. We're gonna be eating lots of different parts of different animals, so. Man, you know it, steakhouse even. Loaded so. steakhouse. I've never been to a loaded steakhouse, but it's I. Soup. It's soup? Oh, well. Oh, it is? I just lost my interest.